Jupiter in the 11th house in Taurus. In this video, we will get into all the ins and outs of that. And we will look at it in a real life scenario via the birth chart of Rob Zombie. To understand Jupiter in Taurus 11th house, we use the same three step process that we always use. First of all, we want to know what does Jupiter in the 11th house itself symbolize? Second of all, we want to know what does Jupiter in Taurus itself symbolize? And third of all, we want to know what are the lordships involved in putting Jupiter and Taurus in the 11th house and what do they symbolize? So to get started with this process, step one, what does Jupiter in the 11th house symbolize? That is what episode one of this series was all about. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to look at the details and make sure you get all the nuances of it. But to summarize, Jupiter in the 11th house symbolizes wealthiness, performerness, like tending to perform or liking to perform and having skill in performing, and also non-authoritarianism. Now, step two, what does Jupiter in Taurus symbolize? I also have already done a video on Jupiter and Taurus, and I'll put a link to that as well in the description if you want to get the details and nuances of that. But for now, the summary is Jupiter and Taurus symbolizes studiousness, dedication, and a sexy prosperity. Now, step three. The step is a little bit more complex, but not too difficult. It works like this. If Taurus is the 11th house, then Jupiter's signs, Sagittarius and Pisces, must be the 6th and the ninth. So therefore, if Jupiter is in Taurus in the 11th house, it must be there as the 6th and the ninth Lords. So we should mix in the significance of having the 6th Lord in the 11th house and the ninth Lord in the 11th house. The 6th house has to do with opposition, and problems. The ninth house has to do with traditions and fortune. And the eleventh house is about talent and profit. So you can see there's a tension going on between opposition and tradition. So when Jupiter is in Taurus in the eleventh house, it is the Lord which symbolizes an oppositional nature towards traditions. And that's going to kind of flourish by virtue of it being in the 11th house. So we expect the people to be heterodox in their views, non-conventional. Another thing is you have a juxtaposition of the 6th Lord being problems and the ninth Lord being fortunes. So it's kind of good and bad luck. So when you're putting that in the house of prosperity, the 11th house, it signifies a person who does struggle, but prospers via their struggles. Sometimes it's a little unclear when it's just theoretical, but then when you look at people who actually have the condition, it's like, aha, that's what that means. So when we look at Rob Zombie, it will be a little bit more obvious what we're talking about. So now we have these three steps completed. The fourth step then is just to put them all together and see where they're synergistic, where do they link up. So one way is that Jupiter in the 11th is a performer, and Jupiter in Taurus is quite attractive or sexy. So that's one of the important things about Jupiter and Taurus in the 11th house is that people will like to look at them. People will like to hear what they have to say. They will like to hear what they're expressing. And the native themselves is expressive. Another really significant thing is the wealthiness that's going on here. Jupiter in the 11th signifies wealth. Jupiter in Taurus signifies wealth. And the ninth Lord in the 11th house certainly is prosperous. Okay, they prosper from struggles, but because of these other things going on, Jupiter in the 11th and Jupiter in Taurus, we can be more sure that it's not just they have a lot of struggles. It's really that they do prosper. So it's more like maybe they, for example, work in medicine. You know what I mean? You deal with things that are difficult. So it might not just be difficult, but it could be odd, unusual, unusual fields. The third thing is that Jupiter in the 11th house is non-authoritarian, and the 6th and ninth Lords in the 11th house is also heterodox. So we can say that Jupiter in Taurus in the 11th house is quite counter-cultural, 
sort of in an aggressive way, like they would like to challenge norms. So it's very, very important, as I mentioned, to look at the theories in real life scenarios, in real life cases. It's not that the theories themselves are unimportant. They're the most important thing. It's the most important thing to understand the theory of what Jupiter and Taurus in the 11th house symbolizes. But the theory is useless unless you know how to apply it in a real world scenario in a chart. So it's always really important after you understand the theory to see how it actually works in practice. So Rob Zombie is somebody who has Jupiter and Taurus in the 11th house. Now you can see kind of what I'm talking about where people like to hear this guy sing. People will probably want to listen to anything that he says. And you can also see how he's sort of profiting from the challenges. Like he's making ugly sounds technically, like, you know, um, strictly speaking, right? He's making uglyish sounds, but they're artistic and beautiful. And he's not really trying to look handsome, is he? But somehow he's attractive. So this is kind of this odd way of succeeding. And also you can obviously see how he's a norm challenger, anti-authoritarian. Would everybody with Jupiter and Taurus in the 11th house be expected to be Ram Zavi? Obviously not. I mean, I hope it's obvious. It's really the way Jupiter and Taurus in the 11th house works in his chart that makes him him and makes you you. The thing with Rob Zombie that's really, really assisting his ability to perform successfully is that his first lord, the moon, is with Jupiter in the 11th house Taurus. And don't forget that means that planet is exalted. The moon is exalted in Taurus. So his first lord is exalted in the house of art, talent, and performance, and Jupiter is there with it. We might also wonder if I have Jupiter in Taurus, <laughs> or like if my newborn baby has Jupiter in Taurus in the 11th house, is he going to wind up to be another Rob Zombie? Is he going to be that unusual? Well, Rob Zombie has something rather unusual or like trademark going on in his chart. So he's got Mars in his third house, which in itself is kind of cool and gives that sort of tough, edgy manliness, grittiness to him. But the important thing is that it is giving its trademark 90 degree aspect directly to his Mercury, which is the Lord of that third house and which is also conjoined K2. So it's not Jupiter in Taurus that makes Rob Zombie. It's Rob Zombie's whole chart that makes Rob Zombie and Jupiter and Taurus in the 11th house is a part of that. So you can see how important it is to see the whole chart and to see how the theory works in the practice. It's something like seeing how a seed grows under different conditions. It may be the same seed, but when taken care of differently or planted in different areas, it produces different effects. If you want to understand the whole context of your chart, the soil in which your interpretive seeds grow, then visit my website, vicdecara.com, and click Readings. My complete chart report explains each and every nook and cranny of your chart and will keep you occupied in self-discovery for years. I also have two groundbreaking new reports. The first of these, Your Nakshatra, organizes your active nakshatras in order of their importance to you and presents the fundamental interpretations for the planets that occupy them. And the newest report, Star Strength, uses a system called Tarahabala to unfold 90 interpretations of the nuanced relationships between all the planets in your chart, which paints a rich and detailed picture of how your various strengths cooperate or compete with each other. Order these or any of my reports and accelerate your journey to deeper self-understanding.